Welcome to another B2B Lax film study. This past week I took a look at Princeton taking on Virginia. It was a great game, a lot of offense. Uh, Virginia's definitely got some young players who are real good. Princeton has a strong offense as well. So pulled about 12 clips, so let's dive into it. Clip number one, Virginia's on offense. You can see how much attention Docs Aiken attracts. Those two guys just converge on him. Princeton does a pretty good job of recovering. Um, Virginia's still patient on offense. And here you'll see those two guys got to slough down and protect that backside pipe because they just fired back over to Laviano, who nets his first goal of the game. Here's clip number two. And let me just start off by saying that UVA has got some loaded offensive talent and they're all freshmen and sophomores. So they're gonna be around for a long time. Here, Michael Krause got the Princeton defense caught up. He's uh, solo at X. And I think Princeton was just deciding to play him one-on-one -on -one and not slide into him, um, which was probably a mistake because he was able to get up, roll, to get that easy shot. They were really late to slide there. I don't think they were intending to slide, but I don't know that for sure. Okay, we got clip number three. It's a face-off fast break for Virginia. And I basically wanted to point out Justin Schwenk. He's a transfer from Monmouth. He's only a sophomore. Another young player who's just awesome for Virginia. He's winning pretty much 64% of his face-offs on the year. He won over 25, I think, in this game. But here's just a fast break goal. Laviano finds a seam. Maybe that guy could have gotten his stick in the passing lane if he slucked down a little bit more. But it's just a fast break goal for a high-powered offense. Real quick, just wanted to bring your attention to some cool stuff we put together for you. It's completely free. We actually hooked up with some college coaches, including Coach Berkman from Salisbury, to talk about getting exposure. And if you want to check it out, just the link's right below this video. Just click it, enter your email, and we'll send it right over to your inbox. Here we go with clip number four. In Virginia, is two men down for a variety of penalties that you'll see from a really cool angle right here. You see the Princeton guy get leveled, and then a few slashes get thrown in the mix becomes just pretty chaotic. Anyway, Virginia's two men down, and on their man down is Will Rock. And Will Rock is a freshman from Gonzaga, and he was on our team the last four years, and he's just got an unbelievable stick, unbelievable reach, and he was always knocking down passes on man down defense, and he's doing the same thing at the next level. There you see him skip that pass, get a little stick on it, uh, knock down. You're actually gonna see him do it again, in just about a second here. Will had a huge game, and it's great to see him playing great at the next level. Virginia ends up giving him a goal here. There are two men down, so it's to be expected, but still wanted to point out Will here. Clip number five, coming out of a timeout, Princeton's playing zone. Virginia just has unbelievable ball movement and a great feed and a great behind the back finish in tight there. You get to see it at a few different angles. Just real nice goal, real smooth. Here we got clip number six. And this is all about having great stick work, being able to control your stick with either one-handed on it or whatever. Just they handle the ball, they drop the ball, but they're able to get it back up and just create plays. And once they get it, they move it. And that's just an unbelievable play. It's just awesome. This play is awesome. Will Rock again, they're man down, there's Will, gets another tip, this time he picks it up, 
you know, shuffles it to the goalie. The goalie bombs it down the field. They're man down. Virginia happens to get it. One-handed pass. Goal. Boom. Will didn't get any love on the replay, but so be it. Awesome play. Tip pass, baby. Virginia's up two. Just wanted to capture a face-off here, especially my boy coming off the wing. Just scooping up a nice ground ball. That's Will Rock again. The freshman who I was talking about, Gonzaga guy, getting it back to the goalie. They go on and clear it. So Will made so many plays in this game that they filmed his mom dancing in the stands. I'd be happy too if I were her. Good stuff there. Next clip, end of the third quarter. Virginia's up two. There's a opportunity here. A uh, little transition, slow break. The long pole gets a shot. Good look, but he misses it. And as he misses the sliding defender, his stick gets deflected by the shooting guy and flies away. And then Laviano goes for the in-down pass. There's still two seconds left. That guy who lost a six going to get it. The rest of the Princeton guys don't communicate, don't mark up. Leave that same long pole open. He catches it on a great feed, steps in, and scores. Ridiculous. So instead of being down two, going into the fourth, Princeton's down three. Just goes to show you, you got to communicate, got to make sure that those guys are being guarded. They just gave away one there. Great feed. Next clip here. Virginia's up by three, 12 minutes left. If you want to become a good shooter, you got to have a quick release. And this is just a great look by Doc Aiken, right back to the feeder, and then he just rips it. Talk about just catching and getting it out quick. Key to becoming a good shooter with accuracy. Good stuff there. Here's another good angle. Boom. All right, eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. This is a man up Virginia, and I just wanted to point out the good man down defense by Princeton. They rotate multiple times. You can see them recover and basically kill the penalty. And you can tell because after the penalty is killed, Virginia gets on their normal middies and the man up personnel gets subbed off when you see number 11 kind of jogging off the field here. So that was good man down defense by Princeton there. Next clip here, I just kind of want to show you a hustle play and what it looks like when guys really want it and really get after it. Even though Princeton comes up with a ball here, I want you to just to see these guys. They're all like around the same. And you'll notice who separates from the pack. The Princeton guy with the ball, and then Matt Moore, who's chasing him, who's a freshman. Look at him just hustle. He creates something out of nothing. Princeton ends up, like I said, getting the ball here, but that's like the type of hustle play that's gonna separate teams. Virginia ends up winning this game, and they were hustling all day, all over the place, and it was plays like that that helped them win. Last clip here, Princeton's down four, they're man up. They really need one here. Kind of saw something similar in the Duke-Denver game last week when Ethan Walker tried to force it inside. I'd like to see this guy's stick have his in his right hand as opposed to his left, kind of just trying to get it in there when the guy's not fully prepared. Virginia recovers. They go on to win this one. Virginia looked good. Princeton's got a great offense as well, but Virginia just has a lot of guns, and they're all young. So I'm going to be watching them this year for sure. There have it. We've got a lot of big games coming up this weekend. Do me a favor, go ahead and like this video and share it. And then click that link below if you want to see that recruiting insight from the college coaches we hooked up with, including Coach Berkman, who has a ton of championships. So they got some advice on how you can go about getting exposure to those college coaches. All right. I'll be watching games this weekend. Stay tuned again next week. Take care.